Strasbourg, France, the home of iconic cathedrals, ornate clocks, and the site of one of history's strangest unexplainable episodes. July 1518, a normal day in the beautiful riverside city, until one of its citizens, known only as Frau Trophia, began to dance in the street without musical accompaniment. In the beginning, people laughed and clapped. It was often they got a free show, and Trophia sure knew how to bust a move. The laughter soon stopped though, when Frau Trophia continued to dance without resting, morning, afternoon, and night for six whole days. Things got even stranger when the manic dancing began to spread. Within a week, another 34 people were dancing. Within a month, 400, all dancing relentlessly without music or song. Nothing would stop the dancing, even when people began to die from heart attacks and exhaustion. One report from the time claims 15 were dancing themselves to death every day. After consulting doctors and astronomers of the time, the nobles of Strasbourg announced that the mania was a natural disease caused by hot blood and ordered the workers to construct a giant stage for the dancers, in the hope that they would dance away the mania and return to their senses. They even ordered musicians to perform for the dancers in the hopes of speeding up the process. The plan was a disaster. Rather than tire out the dancers, the music and the stage only encouraged more people to join in, because who can turn down a dance floor? After a full month of dancing, in which countless people died, the dancing stopped just as suddenly as it had started. People returned to their senses and went back to work in their normal lives, with what we can only assume were massively toned calf muscles and aching arms. The dancing plague that afflicted Strasbourg is only one of several accounts of dancing mania throughout history. Some historians believe that an occurrence in 1237 in Germany is the basis of the legend of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. But what else caused these outbreaks? Debate continues as to whether the episodes were caused by real illness or were a social phenomenon, a kind of extreme case of peer pressure. While some historians believe that illnesses such as epilepsy and typhus were the underlying causes of the outbreaks, this would not explain all of the behaviours dancers exhibited. Most evidence shows that the dancing plague was a kind of cultural contagion. A mass hysteria triggered when life got too tough and the people just wanted to dance and lose their minds a bit. Perhaps we should count ourselves lucky. Nowadays, we have to queue in the cold and pay £20 for the privilege. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe or click on one of the videos above.